And right now, it's my pleasure to bring to this microphone that man of mystery and mayhem, Mr. Dave Cox. <laughs> Too much? No, all right, all right, all right. You know, uh, ladies and gentlemen, there are a lot of people who are gonna try and tell you that magic is just crap. And that is not true. That it's all sleight of hand and chicanery. And that is just not true. We live in a world of wonder and delight. A world of fairies and leprechauns and unicorns that sneeze double rainbows. It's not all sleight of hand. And I intend to prove it. Because I'm not going to use my hands. I'm going to use your hands. What's your name? Aaron. Aaron. Let's give Aaron a big round of applause as she comes up on stage. Aaron! Don't run away, Aaron. Come on up on stage. We're, you're committed now. All right, OK. It's Aaron, everybody. Right over here. Right over here. Right over here. Right, right up here. Oh, you're lovely. Hi. 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 Everybody say hi, Aaron. Hi. Oh, look, they love you already. This is going to be great. Just play along, you'll be a hero. All right. Now, Aaron, uh, I'm going to ask you to stand directly behind me. Here, go ahead and step directly behind me. In the theater, we call this hiding. All right. Now, um, Aaron, uh, if you look carefully behind me, you will see besides my manly buttocks clenching and unclenching, You'll also see uh, two sort of slits around my armpit areas. You see where those are? Yes. Excellent. Go ahead and shove your hands right through those. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Come right on through. Oh, keep coming. Keep coming. And there we go. Hello. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hi. <laughs> what? I'm a great big wizard with little tiny girl hands. There's nothing wrong about that. There's nothing great about that. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, you know, I'm sorry, folks, I, were, uh, I was a little bit late to the show tonight, uh, so I had to run, I had to run to the theater, I had to run so fast, I had to run to the theater. Uh, because I was up at the top of a big hill, I was up at the top of a big hill. It was so big, I, oh, I, I was sweaty. I was so sweaty coming down from the top of that hill. Uh, but I had to ski down, I got to ski, ski down, I cross country ski down that hill. But I'm here now, and that's what's important. I'm here now, and that's what's important. So it's good to see you. Now, I, um, you know, folks, I don't know if you know this, but a lot of magic is done by misdirection. So everybody look over there. Everybody look over there. Just look over there. Look over there. Look over there. And now look back over here. <gasps> magic! Oh, thank you. Thank you. Here, I'll just put the flowers down on this little table. I don't even, I don't even care about them anymore. I'll just put them down over there, whatever. Um, you know, folks, I don't know uh, if you know this, but uh, we're in the fantastic Oviat building uh, here in downtown Los Angeles. And uh, yeah, woo, it's good, all right. And uh, many people think it's haunted. Ooh, oh, I can't even look. I can't even look, it's so haunted. I'm scared, I'm scared. Uh, but if we try, I think we can raise one of those mysterious spirits. Do you want to try? You want to try? All right, okay. All right, over here on my table, I've got a little cloth. A little cloth? There it is, I'll just grab it. All right, and uh, I'll just hold it up by the top two corners, so you can all see it. I'll just hold it up by the top two corners, there we go. Okay, that's the back side, so I'll turn it around so you see the front side, so you can tell the difference. All right, good. All right, and here I'll just unfold it. There's the back side again. That's weird, isn't it? How is that happening? It's like the Jungle Cruise ride. It's like the back side of it. All right. Now, folks, here, if we concentrate, if we all concentrate, I think we can get something to rise. I think we can get something to, oh, oh, oh! It, what did you guys think it was? This is not the sophisticated crowd I was promised. All right, there we go. Ooh, it's like a zombie. Oh, all right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you're as scared as I am. But if we count to three, I'll drop the cloth and the ghost will disappear. Ready? One, two, three. Ooh. Yay! All right, that's great. All right. 
Okay, yay, all right, here, I'll clap, I'll clap a little bit. Oh, not so much, not so much, just chill out, chill out, people, all right, just chill out. All right, now, um, in order to do a magic trick, I need a volunteer from the audience, I need a gentleman to volunteer, so how about I'm looking around, I'm looking around to find somebody, how about you, sir? Or you, <laughs> is anybody even in that direction? All right, what's your name, sir, right there in the white suit, what's your name? Jimbo, excellent, give Jimbo a big round of applause, he comes up here. Yay! Tiny clap. All right. Now, Jimbo, here, I'll hand you this microphone. I'll move this over closer to you. Or, to, yeah, yeah, help me out, buddy. Help me sure. out. Okay, all right. And I'll move this microphone closer to me with my hand. There, there it is. There we go. Just moving over a little bit. It's, it's heavy, I know. Here, mysterious forces will help it. All right. Now, <laughs> so sweaty. All right. Now, uh, Jimbo. Jimbo? Yes. Yes. Jimbo, all right, Jimbo. Now, Jimbo, I like to give everybody a little reward for being up here on stage with me. So, do you like balloon animals? Sure. Excellent, all right. Well, I just have a balloon right there. Just don't pay any attention to what's going on down there. That's nothing weird. All right, uh, what's your favorite animal? A dog. A dog, excellent. Well, let me stretch this balloon out for you. I'll just stretch it out. Just stretch, oh, 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 all right, oh. Excellent, and now I'll just blow it up. Sucks. All right, that's okay, that's okay, Joe. Don't worry, Justin, how would you get another balloon? That's weird. All right, that's all right. You know what, Justin, for such an occasion, I come prepared. I come prepared, Joey, don't worry. There, I just, there we go. I'll just, just take the damn thing. It's all right, there we go. Here, just let me pull this out. I'll just pull it out. Pardon me while I whip this out. I'll just pull it on out. I know it's long, huh, Joe? It's indeed, long. Indeed, don't, yes. don't be intimidated. It's no, not the it's size not. that matters. All right, so I'm sorry, oh, your favorite. I'll oh, we'll just pull right. it all the way up. Uh, now, Joe, Jimbo. Peroni's Jimbo. disease. So. <laughs> Jimbo. To the left. What? Okay. All right. Oh, it's not that easy comedy. All right. Jimbo, uh, now your favorite is a dog, right? Yes, a dog. dog. All right, well, I'll just make you a dog. Thank you, Mr. Mousebag. Here, you know what? I'll just talk you through it. For those who don't know, here, I'll just fold it in half like this. Uh huh. I'll fold it in half, and then I'll just pinch it and twist it. I'll just pinch it and twist it. There we go. Oh, oh, okay, all right. Now I'll fold it over the other side of the balloon. And I'll start over again. Here, I'll fold it in half. Fold the whole thing in half. Yeah, put the two sides together. Put that side on that side. And then I'll pinch it and twist it. I pinch it and twist it. There's its head. There's its head. You like that? All right, okay. And then I'll twist this around like this. And I'll just wrap that side around like that. And then I'll sort of put that. And then I'll pinch it and twist it. Pinch it and twist it. Pinch it and twist it. And here's your dog. There you go. There you are. All right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Monobank. All right. I'm sorry. Wait, Jim. Don't go away. Don't go away. Come on back. Come on back. Come on back. High five. <laughs> awesome. All right. Now, Jimbo, uh, you know, I travel all over the world. All over the world I travel, and I do shows everywhere. And I like to pick up postcards from everywhere I go. And I've got a bag of them right over here on my table. I've got a little bag. There it <laughs> That somebody's very easily impressed. That's awesome. That's really good for me. All right, now I have a bunch of postcards in this bag, about two dozen postcards from places I've been, uh, from New York and Venice, Italy, and Kusadasi, Turkey, and Florida. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you reach in and grab one of these uh, two dozen postcards and imagine a dream vacation in your mind, all right? Okay. All right, so go ahead and reach in there. I'll turn away. I'll turn away. I'll open the bag. It's a hard bag to open. I'm sorry about that. But just reach in and pull one out, and I'll look away. You have one? Yeah. Excellent. I'll put this bag back over here. I'll put this bag I don't even bother to seal it up. I don't need to. Now, Jimbo, uh, I want you to show it to everybody, and so I can't see it. I'll cover my eyes. I'm just, I'll put my fingers right on my eyeballs. That will help a lot. That will be really good. All right, Jimbo, have you shown it around? Yeah. All right, all right, Jimbo. All right, Jimbo, now I'm going to read your mind. Okay. But first, I have to cast you into a deep hypnotic sleep. Okay. So, Jimbo, sleep. Ooh. And awake, remembering nothing. Good, okay. Now, Jimbo, uh, here's what's going to happen. I've got a little dry erase board over here. A little dry erase board. 
I'll just grab this dry erase board and I'll hold it with a white board towards the audience. I'll hold it like this. So right, I'll hold it against my chest like this. Uh huh. And now uh, what's going to happen is I'm going to uh, read your mind. And as the thoughts come to your mind, I'll draw what I see on the dry erase board. All right. It's, I've got a magic marker right here. It's a magic marker right there. Okay. okay. All, right. All right. Again, just don't pay any attention. It's like the family. It's okay. Family. It's, family. Okay. it's a little weird. It's a little no, weird no, for you. Okay. All right. It's weird. All right. Now, uh, Jimbo, I want you, so I can't possibly see it, I want you to hold that postcard behind my back where I can't possibly see it. So I couldn't possibly know where you are. All right? Okay, all right, good, all right. Now, Jimbo, I'm gonna draw something that makes me, uh, just think, think about where you are and I'll draw something here on the dry erase board. Okay. I'm, I'll draw it right now. <laughs> here it is, okay, it's, uh, here it is. <laughs> are you in some sort of ESP uh, lab? No, all right, oh wait, oh, are you in a bakery? Is that a loaf of bread, Jimbo? No, all right, okay, no, all right. Well, it's here, I'll draw something that makes me think of it. That's it. Here it is. Maybe I'll draw something else instead of drawing the same freaking thing over and over again. Maybe I'll draw something else. That would be helpful. Okay, here we go. All right, oh, the, oh, the thoughts are coming fast and clear right now. Go ahead. It's a... Are you somewhere where there's a building? Yes. yes. Oh, Indeed. well, we're yes. getting... That's really helpful. All right, um... Here, I tell you, uh, you know what, I'll, uh, I'll draw the first letter, the first letter of where you are. How about that, I'll draw the first letter. Wonderful. That should be easy. All right, here, I'll just draw the first letter. It's an, it's a, S, is it an S where you are? No. Not, really? No. You are holding it behind me where I can't see it, right? I'm holding it where you can't see right, it. Right, where I can't see it. Right. Uh, oh, I'm starting see to see get it. some thoughts now. Okay, all right, all right here we go. Here, we'll go back to drawing a picture. I'll draw a quick picture, that should be good. Uh, quick picture, it's um, it's, <laughs> it's a, it's a mop? Are Th you in that's, a, uh, no. Are you on the set of Disney's Mary Poppins? Because I performed the, here, I'll just draw the first letter. The first letter of where you are, here we go. It's an H, is it that is right, it's an H? H? All right, Mr. okay. Monibank. All right. Okay, oh, I think it's coming clear now. I think it's gonna be very clear. I think those uh, weren't strangely drawn loaves of bread. I think that was the ocean, am I right? It's the ocean. Indeed it was. And maybe that was an island hut. An island hut? Yes. Okay, oh, I see it now so clear. I think you're sitting outside an island hut on a beach drinking a Mai Tai. Because you, sir, are in Hawaii, am I right? Yes, sir, you're Hooray! right! Put this board down in the uh, one of the markers down. Carefully, because I need those later. All right, uh, now Jimbo, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking in your mind, the, or mm, am I thinking that? I don't know. Should I grow a goatee? You should. We should. Jimbo, sir, you're thinking that was awesome. Indeed, it was. But I tell you what, I do an even better trick. Okay. Watch here. I'll point directly towards the audience, and I'll do my fabulous appearing Aaron trick. Wasn't she great, ladies and gentlemen? Woo! Wasn't she great? Yes, she was. All right, Jimbo, don't go away. Don't go away, Jimbo. Now, Jimbo, you're probably thinking, perhaps that wasn't, in fact, real magic. Perhaps that was just exquisitely executed sleight of hand. The thought did occur to me. Because you reach into that bag, you pick one of any one of two dozen postcards. You happen to get Hawaii, clearly, clearly Hawaii. All right. <laughs> But well, you could have drawn any one out of there, and if magic were real, I would have been able to read the future or read your mind and be able to go on that fantastic dream vacation with you. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm here to tell you, Jimbo, yeah. magic is real. Okay. So let's go!
Do you like this? Do you like this? I wear this at home all the time. It's pretty good. All right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's welcome my partner, Mr. Douglas Rogier, is back to the stage. It's Douglas. Douglas Rogier, is everybody. Douglas. Douglas, is he, what is he at the bar? Is he at the bar? Is that what's going on? All right, okay, all right. You know what? I've always wanted to sing a tune, and this is my chance. Hit it, boys! And everywhere I go, people know the part I'm playing. Pay for every dance, selling each romance. Ooh, what they say. There will come a day when youth will pass away. What will they say about me? When the end comes, I know I was just a gigolo. Life goes on without me. I'm just a gigolo. And everywhere I go, people know the part I play. Pay for every day, selling each romance. Ooh, what they say. There will come a day when you will pass away. What will they say about me? When the end comes, I know I was just a chick alone. Life goes on without me, cause I. because they had the charts in front of them doesn't mean they weren't making it up as they went along. That's what I always say. All right, uh, Douglas, you want to let me do one more? Why don't you come up here and do one with me? About me, neither the moocher. She was a real gone hoochie coocher. 
She was the roughest, toughest, frail. But Minnie had a heart as big as a whale. Hidey, 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 hide. Hidey, 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 hide. cat named Smokey. She loved him even though he was toky. He took her down to Chinatown and he taught her how to kick the gong around. Hidey, 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 hide. About the king of Sweden, he'd give her all the things that she was needing. He built her a house made of gold and steel, a platinum car with a diamond wheel. Let's go to do. He gave her a townhouse and racing horses. Each man was at least a dozen horses. She had a million dollars. And nickels and dimes. She sat around and counted it a million times. Hidey, 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 hide. Hidey, 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 hide. Hidey, 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 Ladies and gentlemen. Thanks, everybody. Backing up as well was uh, oh, uh, the vocals, the backup vocals was Bonnie Miss Gordon, Bonnie Gordon. Libby Larson, and the fantastic Douglas Rogier. The Douglas Rogier. Who is, wait a minute, Libby, Libby Larson? Larson? Libby Larson. Libby Larson. Libby Larson. Libby Larson. Libby, it's fun to say, isn't it? Libby Larson. Libby Larson. That's a great L. It I is. It is. It is. Now, you I know, know, folks, since I was a little boy, I always wanted to go to a fancy club, dress up in a tuxedo. Drink a half dozen cocktails of a pretty lady putting her hands around me in a deep robe, and then sing a couple of tunes. And today, today I am a man. The dream, the dream has been seen. It's true. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And thank all of you for being a part of it. What's next, my brother? Oh, the fabulous Libby Larson? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Who's what? Libby well, Larson? well, well, well. Uh, yeah, yeah. The well, ladies and gentlemen. Talking too much. Uh, <laughs> Libby Larson is going to be up here next, I think. And well, let's give her a proper introduction, well. shall we? Yeah, you go ahead. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, the fabulous Miss Liberty Larson. Hi, everybody. Selectees are dejected when ladies don't make teas. 
I could talk about love and why not but believe me it wouldn't be so hot so let's talk about frogs let's talk about toads let's try and solve the riddle why it's chickens crossroads let's talk about games let's talk about sports let's have a big debate about ladies in shorts let's question the synonymy of freedom and autonomy let's delve into astronomy political economy or if you're feeling biblical the book of deuteronomy but let's not talk about love Let's make with a speech like congressmen do. That ought to take care of an hour or two. Let's talk about war. Let's talk about strife. Let's talk about the bread you have to slice with a knife. Let's heap some hot profanities on Hitler's inhumanities. Let's argue with insanities, the cause of his humanities, the way to shoot follies with the Earl Carroll vanities. But let's not talk about love. Let's talk about drugs, ladies and gentlemen. Let's talk about dope. Let's try and picture Paramount minus Bob Hope, if you can. Let's start a new dance. Let's try a new step. Or investigate the calls of Mrs. Roosevelt's pep. Why not discuss my theory, the life of Wallace Beery, or bring a Jared poem on and write a joke poem on astrology, mythology, geology, philology, pathology, psychology, electrophysiology, phrenology, phrenology, I owe you an apology, but let's not talk about it. In case you play cards, I've got some right here. So how about a game of gin rummy, my dear? Or if you feel warm, and bathe in's your whim. Why don't you get into a bathing suit and have a short swim? But honey, I suspect you all of being intellectual, and so instead of gushing on, let's have a big discussion on. Timidity, stupidity, solidity, frigidity, avidity, trepidity, Manhattan, vicinity, vitality, morality, legality, finality, neutrality, reality, or social hospitality, pomposity, pomposity, and losing my velocity, but let's not talk about love. <laughs> which is my first time with a whole band. Very exciting. Never are as bad as they seem. So dream, dream, dream. Dream. 
never are as bad as they seem. So Liberty Larson. Let her hear it one more time. Nice work, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, this time I'd like to re-invite the Rhythm Boys to come up here and do a little danceable number. How do you feel? How's everybody feeling, by the way? Wasn't Dave Cox funny? Holy cow. Got yours I'm working on, too. Okay. This is the Rhythm Boys. Here we go. I like this. Check. Test. Oh boy, is everybody having a good time or what? Right on. I like songs about ojos, which is uh, Spanish for eyes. And uh, 
I'm not going to sing Spanish Eyes, however, but I will sing another song about them. Ready? One, five, six. Creepers, where'd you get those peepers? Oh, those weepers, how they hypnotize. Gosh, y'all get up, how they get so lit up. Gosh, y'all get up, how they get that size. Golly gee, when you turn those heaters on. Oh, it's me, I want to put my cheaters on. Deepers, creepers, when you get those peepers? Oh, those weepers, when you get those eyes? When you get those eyes? Ho, ho! That's right. Corey, Jim. Leslie Baker on the bass. Thank you, baby. Thank you, Leslie. Attractive people need to applaud between songs from now on. Thank you so much. Yeah, you can tell that's a brand new arrangement. Yeah, that is a brand, that's a brand new arrangement. Freshly born. A newborn song. Okay. Let's just keep going, man. Music, music, music. Okay, 45 minutes of music. What is it? This is one for you, uh, boys and girls. Guys, if you want to grab your girl, I'm not telling you where. Just it's very clear Our love is here to stay Come on, come on Not for a year But ever and a day 
the radio and the telephone. Yes, and the music that we know may just be passing fancies. Well, and in time may go. hot in here. It's getting hot in here, boy. I'm developing a, an illness. There is no medicine, and if there is medicine, I don't want it. Ready for it? This starts off the base, right? Yeah. Start off the thing on. Never know how much I love you Never know how much I care When you put your arms around me I get a fever that's so hard to bear You give me fever When you kiss me, fever When you hold me tight Fever in the morning 
fever all through the night Sun lights up the daytime And the moon lights up the night I light up when you call my name And you know I'm gonna treat you right You're giving me fever when you kiss me, fever, when you hold me tight. Fever in the morning, and fever all through the by request. There you go, buddy. That's it. Say, folks, you're listening to this swank pack. What do you think? I think we've got time for one more. We've never done this. Uh, this is probably the second time I've ever sang this, so I'm going to finish it with one of mine. This is a, a song about being a grown-up in a playful way. I call it Let's All Play in a Grown-Up Way. Hope you like it.
let's all play in a, a grown-up way Cause playing games as kids, we all got hurt Let's all play in a, a grown-up way Where the winner is the biggest flirt It's a rarity to find a guy like me Someone to love you, but also love to set you free. So let's all play in a, a grown-up way. It's okay to have fun, believe me. Thank you, Corey. Well, it's a rarity to find a guy like me, someone to love you, but also love to set you free. So let's all play in a, a grown-up way. It's okay to have fun, believe me. Believe me. Dave Cox, get up here. Ladies and gentlemen, my magical partner, Dave Cox. And I'm my partner, Mr. Douglas Rozier. We both thank you for coming out to Cicada Club tonight. And coming to the Swank Pack, we'd like to thank Bonnie Gordon. Bonnie Gordon. Libby Larson. Miss Liberty Larson. And the Rhythm Boys, Dutch Newman and Carrie Farnsworth. And of course, the fantastic Swank Pack Orchestra. May all your hours be happy hours. Thank you. In honor, <laughs> you want one more, so I'm gonna give you one more. This is a, uh, a big number by
Can I use this mic instead? Good. Uh, Mr. Ray Charles, in honor of it being July and the summer, fireworks all over the place, I'm going to give you a, a song about freedom, about America by Ray Charles. One, two, one, two, Thank you, folks. We hope you've enjoyed your evening here at the Cicada Club.